Hmm? Are we going? Yep. Huh? You okay? Yeah, I just I'm so hot in this hat. Uh, I want to cut my hair, but it's like you know I want to. Whatever. You want to cut it? Well, but you don't it's wanna... like you know it's the hot. Uh, it's just it's cold out, and it's like I hate the beanie because it's making. What was that, that noise? Was so. What sorry. was that? It's my watch. Sorry. What What'd you do to your watch? I smack the time smacked... back in the place? Yeah. Yeah. Sounded fucking... like you got upset with us. Yeah. <laughs> I like, mean, Brent, you're fucking. Oh, you're really hat. smacking in time, huh? Yeah. All right. Anyway, whatever. This guy. I've wanted to do that more in my life. This guy. This I think that's the only guy. reason I'm here. I'm convinced that's the only reason. You're so the this guy. So you can go, this fucking. Yeah, that's good. That's good fine. teeth. Good job. Yeah, that was good. Thanks. Hello, world. Uh, that's how I'm opening this. Uh, welcome mm. to another episode of Lion's Den It'd be today. Great if it was the world. Uh, uh, One day. That's the whole... Guys, 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 guys. Okay, guys. sorry. sorry. <laughs> I finally, I had a rhythm here. All right. Say three, two, one. Three, two, one. Right. Hello. God damn it. That was the right way to do it, but yeah. do it now. I know. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Hello, world. Don't laugh. He laughed too. What did I do? Cute. Said one. All right. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of The Lion's Den. Uh, today's guest is somebody dear to my heart, somebody I've known for 11 years, basically. Mm-hmm. Uh, I used to work with her at the Conan O'Brien show, or the Tonight Show with Conan when I was a PA and the Conan show. Uh, we've remained really good friends. Her name is Sona Mofsesian. Mos- Sona um, Mos... Uh, How does it... Mos- I Honestly, I hate that you did that. We S- talked about this prior. Yeah. I can't say it more than once. Sona Mofsesian. Oh, son of a damn bitch. it. Mofsesian. Sounds like you're almost going to say Armenian, most deaf. It's her, uh, Sona Mos Defian. Oh, nice. Sesfian. Is this everything that does? I know. That was really Sfefian? cool. I can't say it. Most Sesfian. Sona Most Sesfian. Got it. Now it doesn't sound real to me. <laughs> anyway, uh, she's a close friend of mine. So in this episode, we're going to go down memory lane a little bit to uh, when we work together. Uh, we're also going to talk to her about uh, the fact that she was uh, a speech champion. Yeah, for amazing. A moment. Yeah. National, uh, by we, the way. We all talk about, well, her name. Mm-hmm. And then uh, we also talk about how we've. You and her have said bitch. Yeah, to... we had it. We had a, yeah, we, we're gonna uh, said gonna, bitch in real life yeah, to somebody. We're gonna delve into a story about both of us calling somebody a bitch to their face for the first time. It was <laughs> it was pretty cool. <laughs> she's a great, great, great person. Sweetheart. Wow, Brent. Um, she's a lot of fun. We also uh, talked to her about you know life and what's going on with her. She uh, you can hear her every week on the Kona needs a friend. Jesus Christ. We what did again. It? We did it before. I know. I got it. Conan O'Brien it. needs we a friend. We don't do take twos. It's right. Conan O'Brien needs a friend. It's an unbelievable podcast. I've heard every episode. You can hear her laughing in it. You could also hear her in the beginning and the end of it. She is hilarious with Conan. She is like a, a great comedic partner to him in this. I, I What's that word? Applore you? Impl- Apply? Implore you. Implore. Is that, I'm trying to use big words because she was a speech yeah. girl. You got to start reading. Yeah. Just finish the damn thing. We implore you to watch and listen. Watch Conan. Listen to the podcast. She's great on it. She's great on this episode. Enjoy the episode with Sona Mesfosesian. It's Mofsesian. Mofsesian. I got it. Sona Mofsesian. Ooh, do that again. I like those. Sona Mofsesian. We learned her real first name, by the way. Sona's her middle name. I know. You'll hear that, that. too, which is, I mean, it's crazy. It's not crazy. Mofsesian. Do it again. Mo. Sessian. Now say it. Say it. Sona Movsesian. Now say it as a Spanish dancer. Sona Movsesian. I don't know. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> All right. Enjoy this episode of the Lions Den with Sona Movsesian. We are friends. Digging each other. I thought you bought this house. No. Oh, I was like, so I'm proud like a, of you. No, I'm like on a least own thing. And then, honestly, if I bought it, I'd be fucked because of the problems I've had. The but problems. You know yeah, the problems. Besides, the, you've cre- he's created. No, mm-hmm. only one. The other things have been, there's been some other From things. From your friends. Be plaster that... pool, heating, AC, all this stuff. All that's these all things. That's all part of it. Yeah. Yeah, but that's normal. Yeah, he's a homeowner, so he knows. You know, my mom, yeah. by the way, for, I don't know what it is. My mom came into town. Did we start? Yeah, great. So my mom came into town, and right on cue, can you hear that plane? Oh, yeah. So for some goddamn <laughs> reason, the second my mom comes into town, 
planes land in my backyard. <laughs> so when she's here, she always goes, geez, it's like you're staying at the airport, right. you know? <laughs> Because moms always know how to dig you. The other day when I was here and a helicopter started crashing. Oh, I know. She just started cracking up. She yeah, just she started just hysterically laughing. <laughs> she said to me, she came into my house, first time she's here, keep in mind, moved here, 18, no money. May, uh, climb my way up in the silly business. Right. Yeah. So it should be a nice moment. You're here. She's with my father. First time she comes here, she goes to my fridge. She goes, you have a very inconvenient fridge. Oh, my God. <laughs> inconvenient. Why is it inconvenient? No idea. I just said, Mom, you're really reaching. And then apparently... There's an air show every time she's outside. <laughs> the goddamn Blue Angels. Is there yeah. even a, is there an airport nearby? Apparently, we're near. We're very. I think yeah, Burbank. Clo- it's Burbank. It's Burbank. We're yeah. Close to Burbank. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. And then my older brother, who who's both my brothers are smarter than me. My older brother is very both technically. <laughs> Shut up, so Sona. much smarter. All right. Um, by the way, we're with Sonoma Sessian uh, here. Say, from, how do we better, say? It? Maybe a little better looking. <laughs> So sorry. Oh, you're shit. not. You're not. We're wrong. falling right back into this shit. Um, <laughs> have you met his cousin Brendan? Oh, no, really. Oh, oh wait, I Brian. have. Oh yeah. Oh, Isn't yeah, he married now? Yeah, he's married, he married is... with a kid, and he you're has married a too. Kid. I am. Woman. No, I love my husband so much. But by the way, that's then... what everybody says when they get caught cheating on their husband. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Do you know what I call Brendan? His cousin Brendan. What? I call him Bigger Better Brent. Yeah, he yes, said that right he away. He is. He is yeah. better in every way. I feel like. All right. So anyway. Anyway, back to uh, when my parents were here. Yes. Uh, I forgot my point. I got so <laughs> mad. She was talking about the airport, and your mom was saying your refrigerator. Oh, yeah. Coming. So then my older brother's here. My older brother's uh, in technology shit. So he's this snarky, doesn't use an iPhone because, uh, so he has this other type phone. An so, Android. So he, I'm going, it's not usually what happens, mom. And then he'll, he somehow finds, actually, there was a petition to get the planes to go a different direction. Did you know that through the section, da da da, through blah blah blah, oh, while he's great. sitting in the outside? I go, really? From all angles? I'm getting it from, from the, this guy who can look anything up, apparently. How yeah, do you yeah. even find that? You just got to tell him, I got a pull. Just yeah. Yell, like, and then he says, oh, you used to. <laughs> a lot of shadows with these planes. <laughs> you can probably Google it. He probably Googled it. Mm. It could have taken you about a few All minutes. Right. So here we are back on the lion's den. <laughs> <laughs> Sona, how did we say your last name? Mofsessian. I said it right. I no, said Mofsessian. I just, I, I, that was the first time I've heard it. Jason doesn't know. Mofsessian. 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 There's that? a lot of consonants near each. I'm Armenian. As I was going to say, you have the yeah. I-A-N. The I-A-N. 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 Yeah. I'm also a quarter Greek. Nice. I always say Armenian last names sound like you're trying to start a car. I have first I have first cousins that are Armenian. Oh really? Yeah. That's cool. Mulgallion, I believe is there. I mean most Armenian last names rhyme with Armenian. It's an easy way to remember it. That's easy. Oh, do you know Bobby Bolinian? What the hell? He loved it. What the hell? <laughs> I tried to think of something so fast. I think my car amazing. starting one was way better, but yeah, yeah that was, was that. Better. Yeah, Thank edit, you. edit, edit much that better. part out. No, mm-hmm. don't edit things. Also, Armenian men names they they replace first letters. Like if they'll replace certain letters, like Edward is Edward. Yes. Yeah. 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 Why? It's Edvard. Just screw That's it. the Armenian way of, yeah. of saying it. But is it spelled it. Edward? No. Yeah, no, with a V instead of a W. Edvard. So it's like, you know what? Fuck your name. We're doing Edvard. Edvard. <laughs> Back in the car. <laughs> so Armenians are from the future, basically. It's like yeah. a bad futuristic movie. Yeah. It's like, yeah. what is your name? Edvard. <laughs> We're not making fun of your name. No, uh, not, no, it's fine. Is your married name an uh, Armenian name as well? Uh, Yeah, he's Armenian as well. Tak. His What's name it? is Tak. Boroyan. Tak. Baroyan. His full name is Artak, which is an Armenian name. Zartak? Artak. Oh, so I was about Artak to say. and Edvard. You mean he's a Star Wars character? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It sounds like a, like awesome. an eighth grader writing. Uh, writing? Oh. oh my God. Cut. I've been bombing a I lot of these. Brent, you're, maybe, making, you're making him nervous. Brett, maybe you should leave and then Jason and I yeah, can we just, can just have, have a conversation. conversation. Yes. A mellow. I've never heard you uh, talk about Armenian cousins. <laughs> I didn't know yeah. that was a thing. Jeremy, uh, Jeremy and Travis, uh, Mike, have you met them? Yeah, There's an Armenian, Armenian named Travis? <laughs> yeah. Well, their <laughs> father, my uncle, is American, is, is a white dude. Yeah, but, but still, my, I've yeah, never no. met an Armenian guy oh. named Travis. Yeah, their travel. names aren't even Armenian. They have the, they have the last name Collings. Travak. Well, but then they have the, the eyebrows. Yeah, <laughs> they have the hair. Yeah, yeah. 
uh, Sona is my middle name. My first name is Talene. So I have a really ethnic name. Talene Sona Movsesian. Talene Sona Movsesian. Talene sounds like like a vi- like a 1940s Armenian woman. <laughs> Talene. <laughs> Talene. See, that's the same thing I said about Edward instead of Colleen. Yeah. It's Talene. Talene. You're just messing with you. Talene. You're yelling so Talene, loud. Talene, can we get the kids? Headphones oh off. <laughs> You're so so you yell so much sometimes. He's got a good yell. You have a. Do you think you have a temper? Oh. <laughs> hmm. I think I have a like a hilarious temper. Yeah. Oh, it is funny when you yell. It's funny. Yeah, yeah. Does I think anybody I... take you seriously if you're actually angry? Well, not Hollywood. I've been trying to get into those movies. Brent, get, Brent has Brent has the type of temper that is funny because he'll he'll get mad and then punch something, but it'll hurt his hand <laughs> way more than it the thing that he punched. <laughs> Man, I wish I could do anything to you physically. There's like literally nothing I could do to you physically. Damn it! Because even if I punched your head when you were turned around, it would hurt my hand more yeah. than your head. <laughs> no, I have a. I, I find that uh, over time, I'm more angry at things that don't matter by myself. That's oh. why you always call me a dad with no yeah. children. That's such like, a dad thing to yeah. be mad about. I'm becoming my matter. father a lot in that way. But like mad at other people like that, I'm pretty. I've been pretty calm. I found. Here's what happened. I used to be outwardly kind of, why don't you just figure, you know, it's very New England to be confrontational. Mm -hmm. So it's just natural to be like, what the fuck are you doing? Even if you don't mean it in that anger, it just comes out that way. It's just like, where the fuck do you think you're walking? And you go, TS, all that stuff. Right. And then I found like, okay, Brent, you can't be that way in public. That's a bad way. So I started like trying to do all those like calm apps and things like, all right, all right, all right, all right. My favorite is the counting that you talk about. Yes, this is what I found out. Because I was at an airport once with uh, comedian Adam Devine and our plane, we were on. A, we had to take a Spirit airline, Oof. and this is recent. And I said we shouldn't. It's like a school bus in the sky. Yeah, you know. And the flight was delayed for three hours. Oof. So I said I'm getting a massage. I'm at Atlanta Airport. They got. I'm going to one of those express places. One of the best massages I ever had. Atlanta's Way too much. Great. Money. That's a good airport. We are sta- like sitting by the terminal. The plane landed and left and no one boarded made no sense what? and i thought that has to be us it's four idiots getting on it's not us because even families that were there for three hours sitting in front of the thing didn't even board so adam's losing his mind rightfully so and i it's his tour so i go adam 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 you gotta you gotta count down and then i realized like no no i said count up because what i found is i used to try to be like three two one one like try to count down but i realize that's an explosion that's uh, when you count down uh, it really just goes time three bomb. two one what in the living shit <laughs> and then you snap <laughs> so i found if you count up that's what i told adam i said count up count up count up not down up he goes why i go just act like you forgot what four is so it was like because if you go one two three Oh. And it's just like, oh, and you Surrender. can get yourself wow, out that. of it. Yeah. I tried that with Jason once because he gets mad at the airport. Oh, so and mad. he kept going, one, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> Poking people one, in the back, three, one, two, three. <laughs> and I go, you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. Yeah. You guys have to travel a lot. I would I hate that. Oh. And we can't get on no fly lists. That's the problem because then our business is ruined. Like, I've gotten we can't get close. on no fly lists. Why like, would you get be, on being no violent, fly lists? Being violent in the airport is one Oh, way okay. Yeah. Oh, I get it. I get it. Yeah, like being banned. If we're... If we can't get on a plane, then we don't make uh, our living. See, I misunderstood. <laughs> I thought you meant we can't do terrorism. Because I didn't we know that you... We <laughs> can't do terrorism. That's, that's where she I went. Thought that th- <laughs> I really thought that it's really hard to get on the no-fly list, but I guess starting it's, It uh, isn't, fight. actually. Really? Actually, really? How do you know? Well, oh. I'm on the list. I'm just kidding. Because no, I, 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 after you and I talked about that, and you've said it on stage, I, oh, I don't yeah. want to get on a... I actually looked it up. Yeah. And if, if I... If I, uh, for example, if I get in a verbal confrontation on the plane where they have to remove you, you can get on the... Yeah. Where they have to remove you because of a verbal confrontation? Oh, that's happened. Yeah, like people you see the YouTube videos of yeah, people getting removed? Yeah, there's all kinds of videos. Removed. Well, I know people leave, but I didn't know that you can't fly anymore after that. Sometimes. Well, yeah, because what he's talking about is like both of us will talk about uh, an incident we had on a plane. Mm-hmm. And like my biggest thing is I said, like, I just get really... Once I'm on the plane... I'm nervous as shit because I'm like, okay, this is where you keep it down. Like, I don't need to be a YouTube video of like a couple Florida guys punching each other oh, or yeah. some, you know, guy getting dragged out or some rapper who didn't get the right seat. You know, yeah. I've seen it all. I said, but like, if somebody wrongs me, I wait for terminals. 
Like yeah. that's everything. Like we had this one incident with that girl going I to call, Dallas. I called a girl a bitch on the plane. You did? Yeah. Well, here's what happened. Like, I've wanna, never dude. called a girl okay. a bitch to their face, but like from the other I, room. You know what? The... I called someone a bitch to their face Oh, it's, for it's, the it's... first time at jury duty. How did it feel? A Great. jury duty? <laughs> yeah, what, yeah, what, what happened? <laughs> yeah, I've got uh, It's really stupid. First of all, I love jury duty. Mm. I enjoy it. It's fun. I Amazing. Enjoy it. I, I've been on a jury twice. I've crushed it both times. <laughs> but I... <laughs> this is her. Want, by the way, you know this is? is her. She you goes like... People, like they, in your hand. Come on, I got yeah. a bit. You like doing this. <laughs> Your Honor, we find a defendant guilty. Uh, <laughs> and you just love it. I milk like, it. Next it. case. No, Next case. No, because I have a, you know, you know I have a speech and debate background. That's so true, yes. I, I love it. I love deliberating. I love listening. I take copious oh. notes. But the first day of jury duty, I went to the wrong courthouse, <laughs> and I got in the elevator, and I, I was on the ground floor, and I was like, I have to go to for the first floor and the, some woman on the thing was like you're already on the first floor and i was like you don't have to be a bitch <laughs> nice <laughs> oh so you had the court attitude you yeah. came in with court attitude but i waited as i got out of the elevator and the doors were closing so that she couldn't fight me because i if i ever had to get into a fight i would l- well you'd be lose. in the right place <laughs> you could talk your way out of it speech and debate i, I definitely you ever, you ever catch yourself wanting to cross-examine the witness from the jury box? <laughs> yes i wanted i got this one uh, both <laughs> cases Honor. the district attorney was not good and i really was wanted to just be like can i just coach you real quick outside wow. and then you can come back in it was in she's in the jury going <laughs> yeah and that's what i want to you know what good segue into trying to interview here so sona Sona went to USC. Yes. And I remember this when I was working. So Sona and I's relationship is I got a job as a production assistant for The Tonight Show with Conan through uh, Liz Planka helping me get an interview. Mm -hmm. And I was one of the first PAs hired to that Tonight Show experience, and you were Conan's assistant. Like, brand new, too, because the oldest, like, assistant in New York State, right? We we started around the same time, I think. Yeah. And I was running around just trying to keep a job and finally had health insurance and no money and just honestly was unprofessional. Yes. But uh, slowly we we formed an unbelievable friendship Uh and started learning, like, uh, I'm not much of a reader or writer, (laughs) but uh, (laughs) I'm not much for uh, book learning. Book learning. Yeah, I'm not much for the book learning. But then uh, she would have these like kind of, and she was like, you know, I was captain. My, I would try to make fun of you, and then you would be like, well, I was captain. Cat, what were you? You were like, I was a national speech champion. Yes, wow. that's what it yeah, was. Yeah, I don't fuck around. <laughs> yeah. Yes. National. Yeah, hmm. national speech champion. It happened 16 years ago. I bring it up once a week at least. <laughs> I love it. I am. Uh, it's probably the biggest achievement in, of my life. Honestly, awesome. too, because like here's the deal: like coming out of film school and then doing a bunch of different jobs, like construction and door-to-door sales, which I I bombed all that waiter, bar, t- oh, anything you could do to get that opportunity just for me to be a PA. Mm-hmm. You have to understand, like you were a page too, weren't you? It was an NBC page. Yeah, being an NBC page is one of the hardest fucking gigs to get. Like coming from film school, it's so hard to get that gig, and yeah. then to be the assistant to conan o'brien of the tonight show you basically wow. have to be like a fucking scholar so when i would walk down that that hallway with tom super was the original yeah. assistant to jeff ross i just remember thinking this hallway's different like be on your best behavior which i wasn't so i obviously don't listen to my brain <laughs> no but uh but it's because of you because then i found out oh she's fun yeah. tom i ended up like and i've seen him i haven't seen him yeah but um either way like i just that is such a hard fucking gig to get right. in this business it's super hard so i assumed it's probably why i probed you for questions like where'd you go to school and how the hell did this happen yeah like, yeah yeah because that's like who wouldn't but want even that being care? a pa on that show is tough i mean there's people who've been working I on had that to help show build for a deck. 26 years yeah. yeah i had to help build a deck at liz's house because i had done basic construction uh-huh she wanted to test my work ethic and I've been working as a uh, doing electrical work, which, by the way, is not working out. And uh, <laughs> and, I know. and I was doing door to door sales, selling uh, spa treatments. And I was working as a waiter and a PA and doing or a waiter and a, a bartender and doing like 50 shows a month, trying to do as much as I can to stand up. But I needed like health insurance. I needed something. And I said, Liz, is there any way I can get my resume? And she, for the by the way, rightfully so, forced me to like house sit and then like. Help build a deck at our house, at Jack and I's house in, in Burbank. Like, help this guy Ted and do that. And the two of me and him built this deck together in, like, the heat of the summer in 
Burbank. She just wanted to test my work ethic, which by the way is the right way to do it. Then she yeah. helped me like write my resume the right way. And then she says, okay, I could see you actually want it. So I'll, I'll put you in for it. What I didn't know is that like, I wasn't, it wasn't really an interview. It no. was just like, you got it. And I met Tracy and, and Sarah yeah. and them, and then they just gave it to me. Yeah. I'm, I'm curious to know your side of the story with him being there. Cause I used to go visit him. Yeah. When he worked, and we would just, ha he literally walked around like he owned the Tonight Show. <laughs> He was did. it The Tonight Show or was that Conan? Conan, Conan, Conan. Conan, Conan, Conan was, was different. Conan, whatever, Conan was it was looser. the show. Well, Tonight Show was more corporate. And he's like, that was come different. on over here. This is, everybody, like, this is awesome. Everybody loved Brent. Uh, weird. It, it is. It's really weird. <laughs> everybody loved him. And he was, you know, he's a, he was a really fun guy to talk to. I was. I'm talking like you're dead. <laughs> Sorry. <Right>? Yeah. <laughs> I died. Yeah. Uh, no, he but, was back then. He's yeah, changed. Back then. Lions everywhere. <laughs> and I don't know if he told you, but he was sitting by the talent and uh, by the talent department. He was surrounded by Ashley and Carrie yeah, and Tonight Molly Show. at uh. the Tonight Show, and they were these three really beautiful, really fun girls, oh, and yeah. they all were always like flirting with Brent. Not because they like. I don't even know if they wanted to the actually talent date was low. you. Talent was low. But. What I was, you, did you know they were there. flirting or were you experiencing Well, I time? annoyed them. What happened is, is like, I when I started, at the Tonight Show was different. When Tonight Show, they built that whole studio for us. Yeah. And because I was one of the, it was me, Erica Brown, and I think Chris, uh, Chris. Uh, Ultimo. Ultimo. How could I forget Ultimo? Uh, it sounds like a fucking American Ninja Warrior. <laughs> but um, so the three of us were like the first, no, and Ryan Clark. Yes. It was him. But I was the only one who knew how to use a fucking drill because wow. I had been doing bad construction. So <sighs> I basically built those cubicles and wow. built and put all those files away in a different building like we had to do. And I, like P or interns would come like, how do we, how do I, and all these fancy schools. Cause summer interns for the, that type of show are like Harvard. And yeah. it's like a lot of Jack Nicholson's daughter was an wow. intern. She was actually a good intern, by the way. Yeah. Um, she was really sweet. Like Lorraine? she actually worked. Yeah. She yeah. had the eyebrows. That's how I knew it was, I was like, Jack, She's but uh, very sweet. Very She's like, sweet. Nope. She did. She had the Jack eyebrows. Uh, it's not an insult. He made a living yes, off of it. Edit. Um, oh my but God. I just remember building up and then they gave me the desk, but then I'm like, uh, you know, you do a lot of busy work when you're a staff PA. Hmm. It wasn't until uh, I had that they, they needed somebody downstairs and Steve Hollander said, yeah. can you stand in for Andy to read these cue cards with Mike Sweeney? And so I read the cue cards and that, cause I've been doing stand up, I didn't give a shit. Right. So I was like, yeah, of course. And uh, it was that day Steve Hollander went up to Sarah and was like, uh, can I, take him downstairs yeah and that pissed off all the pas really the, i didn't know it pissed everybody because off because when you get hired at the tonight show you want to be on the floor it's you fun. know yeah like yeah but when you're in the office it's an office it's like yeah. cubicles and when i'm in the cubicle with those girls you're talking about i'm bored so i started doing like hey hey Hey, no, hey. he flirted with it. I, no, I, I wasn't even. Wasn't, we all flirted. I'm Everybody a flirt. flirted. I'm just a natural flirt. But I would do stuff like Ashley. Ashley, it's my impression of a wizard who tries to hide. Oh, he's a wizard. Wow. Remember, I used to kiss the computer. I used to do a bunch of weird you were bits. So weird. And they loved it in the beginning, but then they're like, "Brent, we actually have work to do." And I was so like, no, "No, no, 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 no! I figured it out. Figured it out. Figured it very out. Watch this. Watch the stapler. Annoying. Watch the stapler. Because you can't put somebody like me in a fucking cubicle." So they were like, we'll bring you downstairs. And then I became like the stand-in yeah. talent walker. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, th yeah, that's well, I ended up downstairs. So I just had a desk for no reason. <laughs> yeah, I know. You had a desk for no reason. On but I got to tell you something. You know what I did learn now? It's kind of, you know, personally. I know stand-ins get paid a lot more. I should have been paid <laughs> compensated. Hello. But I wouldn't have had the benefits. But you're talking about like a sitcom stand-in. Yeah, maybe you're because right. Because now, I truly don't know. do you know you know who does the stand-in? Interns. Yes. People, yeah. Unpaid people interns. That, oh, wow. My job do was... Do Brent's job. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. <laughs> That's changed. So, so... It's the same job. I ended up... Uh, shut up. I ended up... I ended up like hitting it off with her comedically so much that I was like, this is the best. Like, she's awesome. Like, I would yeah. go to the office all the time and we'd just hang out yeah. and laugh. I remember before I met you, he was like, you got, you got to meet. Oh, oh Sona's the fucking best. Yeah. yeah. I remember that time. I'll never forget this. I could say it. You can cut it if you have to. Remember they did the sexual harassment? Oh, I was just <laughs> thinking that on the way over here. So, oh, my God. It was like mandatory. A, like a meeting for this. Yeah, it's a they mandatory had a NBC... sexual harassment training. Yeah. and they would, legal. And they would use people like in the video because it's NBC from like the office and all the shows. And they would be like, hi. 
sometimes you can't do this or this is a you know and to have the people that have to do it you know you do it on every show mm -hmm. when you work sona's and they have everybody it's a huge staff and crew and sona's down there i'm up here so i just text her wanna fuck <laughs> Uh, was during this sexual yeah yeah hour, but then like an hour no of... phone on her i guess i thought she wasn't answering me i start going whoops oh. <laughs> took a risk <laughs> took a risk like <laughs> you were already preparing your apology yeah because i thought we, we were just friends or joking around oh, and, but she's funny. not writing back so i'm going oh boy well <laughs> did you did you did he head you off did he did he tell you before you saw the text or did you well, no, I, I saw I, the text and started laughing oh, I think. Right, right. once because you left your phone in your office yeah and then i was like I went to your office and said, how the hell did you not get the, the text? She goes, what text? I left my phone in my office. And then I went back to my desk and then you wrote like, yeah, you better. I'll get you fired. <laughs> like, You doubled down on it. <laughs> Shit we can't do now. It was just one of those funny, great. Where it was too woke. Time. It was fucking hilarious. <clears throat> no, people still do it now. I know. You just yeah, it's you just people still. Be... I cut you off before you talked about how you called someone a bitch. Oh, on the plane. I need to hear how you call. I know we're going well, back to we it, were, but I really need to hear I, this. I story. talk about this on stage on, on, once in a while. We were, we got, we, it was the same situation as you was you and Adam with the, with the, um, what's that crappy airline we were just talking about? Spirit. Spirit. It wasn't and Spirit. We no. were, we were on Spirit and they delayed the flight and then we looked at the line. The line was so long and we're, and you were like, screw it. I'm just going to get two first class tickets on United. Oh, that's and we, what it was. And you know, yeah. in, in first class, they, they bring you all the alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. So I, and, and he we, doesn't really booze. And I'm not a big drinker. So but I was we're like, drinking on the plane, right? And he loves Baileys. And I, and we're, so, yeah, yeah, he's like a mother in a ski lodge. Yeah, we always yeah. do this. <laughs> yeah. No, we do this bit on stage. Like, it, it, but it's a true story. It's a true story. But we're flying to Dallas, and Dallas He'll is. Tell it. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, uh, trust me, this will work. I know, I'll I know. I got it. I got it. We're flying to Dallas. Dallas is very rich. You know, that Dallas is like the rich kid of texas so you got a bunch Highest, of rich people uh, amount of billionaires per capita Isn't that crazy? sorry go ahead yeah right so we're sitting we're enjoying we're laughing we're on the plane like we're happy you know mm -hmm. i'm drinking some whiskey i'm sneaking them some baileys you know we're having I mean, a good time i keep thinking i'm running out and every time i look i'm like oh it's not not yeah, empty because i was sneaking yeah. i was sneaking i was having a good time then this this escort gets on like full-on escort like pro well let me you let me tell. let me interrupt for just a second I also talk about when you know how when you're drinking you think everyone else is deaf, so you talk <laughs> yeah, yeah, we were really loud. loud. We, we were, were talking loud. really loud on the phone. You guys but, must have been so obnoxious. Oh, but we but let me let me. But we talk about this. People were still bored in the plane. We weren't that obnoxious. This it's, is when it you haven't even taken off. Yeah, which means that everybody's talking. It's like before the previews. Like we're having a good time. Then this girl with heels just the worst she she had she had sweats on that have never been sweated in her <laughs> her sneakers had a heel she was wearing sunglasses it was a night flight <laughs> and she and she had a little tiny dog with her and oh, in, yeah. in brent cool. knows i love little dogs yep. yeah so she sits down in the empty seat next to brent and i lean over and i go oh but also across the aisle. So it's across two, the then one. So she's by herself. She's not like right next to us. She's across the aisle. Yeah, she's okay. across the aisle. Two and one. And I lean in over, I pour in at her dog, and I go, oh. And she goes, what? Like, what? And I'm like, your dog is cute. So I was done with her. Yeah, yeah. Immediately done. And like, then, she's the worst. Yeah. But it's a Yorkshire Terrier. I grew up with That's a Yorkie. Cute. So I'm, I've never seen a quiet Yorkie. So all I said was like, yeah. I said, wow, that dog's so calm. Would you give it a Xanax? Joking. You know, joking. Joking. We're joking. Drunk. I assume everybody was involved with, everybody mm -hmm. loves what I'm doing. She goes, no, Benadryl. She gave her dog Benadryl. So I hate her even more now. Yeah. Why did she give her dog? Who is that normal? Keep her I don't dog. know. No, she's all I know is she's school. drugging her adorable little animal. <laughs> so we go back. So now I'm done with it. <laughs> yeah. So we go back to our conversation. Loud. Okay. By the way. Plane hasn't taken off yet. Still hasn't taken I off. Can't, I cannot. I thought this was like four hours into your. Oh, no, we haven't take, taken no, off. No, still at the so gate. So it's five minutes later. We're just talking, and right? obviously loud. He's right. We were louder, but we weren't like the plane's still boring. Right. It's not like people are sleeping yet. She starts going. <clears throat> wow. Yeah. And we're not paying attention to that. Yeah. So then she says, "Excuse me, excuse me," and we look over. Yeah. And the way she says it's like, "Oh, yeah." I'm thinking maybe she'd be like, sorry, I was rude. Like, she goes, we all don't need to hear your life story. Ooh. And I went, shut up, bitch. Because <laughs> I was drinking. I yeah. even pointed so yeah. she knew she was the bitch I was talking about. I was like, 
Shut up, bitch. And this is my favorite part, though, because I go, whoa, 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 whoa. And I go, hey, She's hey, hey. about but, to lose it. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking, ah, this is my fault because I've been stinking him shit and he doesn't really drink. And I'm going, and then he just let it. He goes, shut up, bitch. Said it very calm. She goes, what? And then he goes, oh, now you're deaf? Yeah. Oh! I go, a minute ago, we were too loud. Now you can't hear me? I By said, the way, nice. shut up, you bitch, is what I said. And All first class everyone's loved watching. us. Yeah, and they- No, they didn't. No, yes, we were making did. friends with everybody. Did they? It was really cute. But Not only do we make friends with them. Well, the, remember we're flying to Texas. The, the lady sitting in front of us looks at us and goes, hey, y'all, don't fight. The sweetest voice. Hey, y'all, don't fight. Aww. And then she says, y'all were talking kind of loud. And then we immediately went, oh, I'm so sorry. And then she goes- she did ask. She was a little rude. She didn't know how to ask nicely. Yeah. And then the girl said, I did ask nicely. Yeah. And Brent goes, no, you didn't. She did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She did. She did. And, and then, then we that ended girl up, in front of us, she came with her came friends to the, the show. show. And Stop. We, yeah. Hey, yeah. that's nice. Yeah. It really does matter how you say things to people. Yeah. Crazy I, part I is. Have a, I had a really hard time learning about that. Yeah. But yeah. The crazy part is the girl had two dogs and we never knew it because she yeah. had one dog on her lap oh that's and you right. know how you put a carry-on under the seat yeah when we landed <laughs> she pulled the bag out from under the seat and there was another fucking dog in the remember bag. what oh i God. said remember what i said what'd you say i went you have two yeah, dogs yeah. He goes, you have two dogs <laughs> and then <laughs> i said what'd you say that's a total of three bitches <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. But oh. at that point, we ran. Like, oh, we she was done. the worst. So everybody's laughing their asses yeah, off. Yeah. But like, the st- every button they can't say. So. Flight attendants, everybody loved yeah. us. Yeah. I mean, we were killing it. We weren't like blackout assholes. We were just. And loud. by the way, when we took off, we did what everybody does and we got quiet. Yeah, we cried and watched yeah. a movie. Yeah. We were just waiting for the plane to leave. Yeah. But it was so interesting to have that reaction right away. She sounds like she sucks. She, she was the worst. She was definitely yeah. an escort. And by the way, like I say on stage, I'm not saying it in a bad way. I was going to say You're 26, fake tits, fake ass. Go. <laughs> Have your fun. Enjoy. I, like I always say if I'm like if I was a 26-year-old pretty blonde girl with no talents. Wow. You'd see my Instagram would be me outside a jet with a bunch of old Asian businessmen going Hong Kong like, oh you know. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, you know, but you're Cut right. That. There is a point. <laughs> oh. There is a point where she's not going to look like that, and she's going to have to rely more so on her travel and joy. And she enjoy. has to be nice. So and I was so even... nice to her. I was complimenting how cute yeah, her dog was. And I know. Was like, and I was like, "Oh, Yorkie, how'd you get a Yorkie?" Did we it feel trying. good? Yeah. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it, did. Yeah, it was it great. Did. He, he, he really. It was. It was so. It was a great. I was skipping through the terminal after that. And usually, <laughs> I'm that most angriest guy in the terminal. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, "Hey, it's yeah. a beautiful morning." I was doing that. Feels good when you feel like you won. Oh, yeah. and I, I like it. Feel like I won. Yeah, it was a win. And and like I and like I just want to say this because we're not taking it out. I know it's a woke culture, but you know if you got it and you got it, enjoy it. What? What? I'm just what saying what the escort with... thing. Enjoy the... life. What woke culture? Yeah. You know, it's just because now we got to edit. It's what all are these you going to edit? Okay, good. No, but okay. saying that, no, it's, it's you know, a, prostitution's legal in some places. Where, nothing... where, 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 where? <laughs> <laughs> I'm You're just saying fire. there's nothing. You're on fire right now. You know, You're killing me, dude. Everyone's got to make a living. You're my favorite, living. dude. You're my favorite. You're my favorite. We love each other. Anyway. All right, so let's let's talk Kiss. about this, though. Let's, huh. let's, we have. Um, so let's talk about this. I See, I got to stop saying that. But uh, so <laughs> tonight's show ends. I'll never forget this. I had two moments where I was like, I'm finally coming home for Christmas and I have a job. And it's a Tonight Show with Conan O'Brien, as opposed to me going home. People going, so when are you going to, are you good? Oh, really? Yeah. You know? Now I can come home. Keep in mind, making like no money, 400 bucks a week or something. I buy gifts. Because I'm thinking, <laughs> you know what? At least I can keep this gig while I'm trying to get stand-up going. This is good. I'm in the business. I remember being so blown away going through the Universal Sun. I was so enamored by the idea that I'm actually working somewhere where actually the people are amazing. Because mm-hmm. I had done internships with terrible companies, and I thought, is this what it is? You're at Everywhere the, else? Everybody who works on that staff is cool. Well, it's, not everybody. Yeah, I mean, but, you know yeah. more. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, names. Um, and we'll both go down. Yeah. But uh, then I'm thinking, this is great. I get to go home, and I'm working at The Tonight Show with Conan, and here's a gift. And yeah, I'm still silly, uncle. And da-da-da, I'm doing this. And so I get these gifts, and then I f- go back. And I'm taking a cab back to... Uh, to the Van Nuys apartment, I accidentally leave my laptop in the back seat of the cab, mm. and I and I was I had all my writing on it, all the scripts I'd written. Oh, that sucks. And then two weeks later, we find out we're losing the show. Oh, <laughs> so well, you know. Uh, sorry, go ahead. Well, my thought was like, uh, well, it's an institution. 
You're not getting like canceled. You're not going to get fired. Like this is not working for a sitcom. You know, it's not another Mm. PA job. This is like a, a built in nine to seven basic, like a job. So I go, great. I can work around that, have a routine. We're good. I go home. I give gifts and I lose the laptop. I go, no, no, no. Gone. Call the cat. Can't find it. Gone. Of course, literally two weeks later, we find out we're kind of losing it. Yeah. I went, oh boy. And I was like, well, this is where I never give. So I don't give gifts anymore to my family. That's that's where the, oh, <laughs> wow. That's where that ended that's up. What I was waiting for that's like. That's where that went. I was going to be like, and then Sona helped you. No. And then, no. Oh, I'm just never giving no. gifts again. Never giving gifts it's again. Funny I grab said... my mom's face and I go, what did I tell you? What's the story? <laughs> oh and I make God. her repeat it. <laughs> what a dick. Don't do what that to your mom. We never do that. Mother, look at me. Yeah. No, she's the best. She's um, the queen. Speaking of laptops around The Tonight Show, I don't know if I ever told you this, but. No. So it was between the Tonight Show and when we were going to go on the tour, the legally prohibited from being funny on television tours, the tour mm. Conan did right after the yeah. Tonight Show. And my laptop gets stolen from my car. So someone Whoa. broke my passenger seat window and then stole my laptop. And then I called the police and they're like, you know what? We don't even send squad cars for these types of robberies because it's so rare that it, you find it. Yeah. And then I was like, okay. So then I called the police back and I was like, I work for Conan O'Brien and there's information that might be dangerous that somebody else might get from him. And, or like, I just used his name. Yeah, Nice. Cops were there within a minute. Wow. They took down a thing and then it was done. And I really was like, I'm never going to get this laptop back. And then about a week later, it was my whole case. So my cell phone bill was in there. I started getting phone calls from the guy who stole my laptop because he saw he opened it up and he saw pictures of me and my friends and we were all hanging out. And I don't think he thought that we were like young and my, you know, like my friends, we were at the pool and stuff. Yeah. So there was a pervy guy. Oh, so he wow. Started, so he stole it and was perving out too? His, so he stole my laptop, was perving out, find, found my phone number and called me and tried to like talk dirty with me. Whoa. And I was like, what are you, how do you know my number? How do you know like what I look like? And he goes, I'm looking at the pictures you sent me. And I was like, the pictures I sent you are the pictures on my stolen laptop that you have right now. And so he hung up, I called the police. They did a reverse phone lookup. Wow. I know. (laughs) This is good, this is good, wow. They did a reverse phone lookup on the thing. Uh, called me and they're like, do you know this person? And I go, I don't. He goes, we, we think this is the guy that has your laptop. Then he's like, we're going to go in. We're going to see if this is him. And then we'll call you back. They called me back within like 20 minutes. And they're like, we have your laptop. That's awesome. Wow. Isn't that insane? Wow. Yeah. And then. Way better than Brent's story. Yeah. I know. I was going to say, really <laughs> one up my goddamn story. <laughs> no, it gets. It gets re- I don't even know if I should. I can't. This is the first time I've ever talked publicly about this, so I don't I know like if this it. is going to be a problem. This might be a little bit of a problem, but um, okay. So then the officer returned the laptop to me. Then the officer started texting inappropriate things to me. Jeez. But I've, I would, I've, I've heard this a few times from different people. Yes. Yeah. So, but I dismissed it. I didn't engage. I would just. I think I would just be like, haha, and I just mm-hmm. like. I never even engaged. But it went on for a while. Oh boy. Then, oh my god, the plot thickens. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> I love the plot. This hands, is this too. is where I'm. Uh, this is where it gets a little. <laughs> this is where it gets a little dicey. If I should talk about it, but this detective was the detective on that bling ring case. Oh wow. Yeah, you know, the one where the yeah. teenagers yep. were like Broken stealing. In, breaking yeah. into Paris Hilton's house and all that. And yeah. then Sofia Coppola made a movie about it, mm-hmm. and he was a consultant on it. Uh, and then wow. he was under investigation. He was dismissed from being a, con- a, 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 whatever, a consultant on the, sh- on the movie because it turned out that he was sending sexually explicit messages to a witness in the case, so he was dismissed from it. Wow. So uh, anyway. He's a perv. He's pr- well, yeah. You I can mean, easily say that if he's already in the. Yeah. Well, awesome. I think you know it's like a lot of guys. They see a, it's not like defamation. a damsel in distress, and then he. Oh, I uh, have a friend that had to call the police to her apartment for a reason, and that cop kept coming to her apartment. No. He would come in and check on her, knock on the door, and just kind of see if everything's okay. Oh God. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know, a perv in a cop uniform is. 
Still a perv. <laughs> such, I was going to say, famous such a last sexy words. perv. Famous last words. I love a perv in uniform. What if she just got up and left? <laughs> oh, perv in a cop anyway, uniform is still go. a perv. <laughs> Bye, guys. I think my time's up. I'm like, what uh, the hell was that? Wow, yeah. but, that, but at least you got your laptop back. I got my laptop back, but I had already bought another one. Oh. Um, but I got that one back, and I thought, you know, there was probably jizz all over it. Ew. Oh, yeah, you got to get rid you of it. You guys think gotta jizz fingers. It. Yeah, yeah there's a lot of so how do you think we jerk off? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> jizz. Do you think that we just go, whoa, <laughs> all over a laptop? You're, you're, you, like we're putting out a forest don't fire. Don't you spray on <laughs> it like a hose? You're just like. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what is that move? <laughs> That's a it's giant that, penis. It's like that a is champagne a gi- bottle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. It's your husband. Good man. jizz everywhere. Well, can't use this laptop anymore. Yeah. Just fingers. <laughs> the keys were all sticky. Oh, oh my I don't God. know. Stop describing Whoa! That like, I mean, it doesn't surprise us. We yeah. know how to. <laughs> What's happening? You guys know. You guys probably have jizz fingers sometimes. 100%. The only time I've ever. The, fir- <laughs> no, the you, first time I ever did it, I did do this. I go, what the hell is that sound? What? And then it went. Psh! And I went. Ah! Oh, no. <laughs> Was that you splooching? <laughs> and my mom goes, dinner! What is that sound? <laughs> Your first time. It was like Johnny Depp getting sucked through the... Who got sucked through the... Ah, fuck I thought off, I broke Will. it. Why am I looking at Will? I thought I broke it. I was like, oh, yeah. Oh my god, what did I do to it? You know, it's Aww. leaking. It's leaking. <laughs> oh, my beautiful penis got all weird in the mouth. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Brent Moore. Why well, just sultry is sound? Such an R&B Last singer. song ever. <laughs> when he says, "I think I broke it," I just assume he has like such an R and B. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Ooh, I broke it. <laughs> oh, oh, that's nice. Will I lose it again? I don't know. See, she, see, she's I, so into it. Nice. Are you? Did you start swaying? I did. Oh, yeah. that's a, that's I a like that. Is there shame right after? There's shame, right? Or Immediate. you're like uh, hmm. when you're alone? No. Oh, okay. When I'm alone, I am. Let's go look at you. <laughs> this is who you are. Do you and think- then he, hey, then he turns the camera off. <laughs> God damn it, good burn. I'm gonna have to look at you oh, later. No. no, you just it's like I compare it to uh when you're a kid and like I don't know if anybody could relate to this, but like when you're a kid and like you have one friend who has a basement or a den and you that's where you hang out, your rough house, you know, you're doing stupid shit, you're playing don't touch the ground. But then you stub your toe, like you, you, like there's a moment you hit your shin or you stub your toe, and everything gets clear, and you realize how stupid shit is. Oh, that's you. And you go, stop, 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 stop. Everybody, stop. It's stupid. Yeah. What are we doing? I'm going to college. I'm done with this shit. That's how coming is when you're alone. <laughs> oh, oh <laughs> because no. Because like we're, once you're done, you go, what the hell are you doing? It's two in the afternoon. Oh, you're two in the alone. afternoon. Oh, no. oh boy, I you're in a Marriott. I can't imagine being a boy going through puberty because it's like. Always like. What about a there? girl? It was weird. What do you mean? Well, what? girls they grow you get boobs and, they, and it's yeah. fun. And it's um, you oh. guys. You guys happen first too. Then We're we always start menstruating. And guys get we get awkward. Yeah, it's way oh, worse I, for women. We all talk like this. <laughs> <laughs> you want to have sex with my penis? Like, Is that just, Mr. Furley? Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good one. Awkward. <laughs> can you touch it? I kind of touch it too much this week. <laughs> so maybe can you touch it? <laughs> <laughs> Well, Zits. when are you going to puberty? <laughs> I can't Zits, wait. A bad mustache, you know. Oh man. Man, I remember one time this kid Evan Piggott, a good friend of mine, he was in good we name. were in my pool and he had arm under his hair and I did he like I was the first You said arm under his hair. I'm dyslexic. Like hair <laughs> under his arm. Well, oh, great. This is squeaking. Um, <laughs> I'm not judging my weight. But I just remember Oh my god he was throwing something like like a little basketball in the pool and i saw like little hairs under the arm Whoa. and i didn't have that and i went oh no like i'm that guy like i'm gonna be like oh, billy, i'm gonna be billy elliot i'm just gonna be oh. running through the streets dancing. i remember the first experiences in locker rooms and i was like <laughs> why doesn't mine look like that and oh, really? well and it was just this guy's was huge yeah, there's always that. <laughs> yeah, there's always that one kid in the locker room when you're in like middle school that looks like he's 25. Oh yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's always the kid, by the way, that has like, like, parents love him, but you know, there's no rules. Yeah, you know. Also, they're strangely confident for that. It's age. unbelievable. Yeah, confident. it's like people at my age now don't have the confidence some of like the cool people had. It's mm-hmm. unbelievable to me. Yeah. I had a, a friend. 
I was always friends with the good looking guys, but I was not a good looking kid. Oh. And uh, yeah, no, I'll <laughs> so give you, I'll give you, I'll give you more, more of an all, all story, an all story. This kid, Chris, he had a, a list, printed out list of phone numbers from, and we were like in, uh, it was fifth grade graduation, I think. And we were going into sixth grade and he had all the girls numbers from sixth and seventh grade. Oh my and God. cause he was so hot to them. Wow. He was like JTT. Fucking Devin, Ugh. what did we find out before? Swaha, Sawa. Back in the day, the Tiger Beat JT, shit. Oh, yeah, Jonathan yeah, yeah. Taylor Thomas yeah. or Devin Sawa. Sawa. That's what They're two was. different people. So. Or even Shane West. Shout They're out to Shane. He'll be on the show soon. He's a good friend. But like, you remember the, t- oh, God, like back in the day, okay. but <laughs> back in the day, they used to, like those were the people liked. And uh, basically he had the numbers and he would call on the landline and I would talk like, and I would try to do a voice like, a Jonathan Taylor Thomas, like I really would, like hey, Jonathan Taylor Thomas had a voice. But these girls, he had a good like. Really? Vo- I shut up. You weren't my generation, You're right? right? You're right. So I was just going like, hey, and they're like, you sound cute, and I was the most cute I could feel. So I remember having that little moment, and then when they met me, it was like, oh, but um, oh my god, you don't I'm match sure the voice. No, no, no. Not but it. but so what happened is this kid, thirty but eleven. He throws a graduation party. He goes, my parents won't be here, which is why. But um, so we're going to have a kissing party. And I was like, oh, and you're invited. Yeah, because we're going to wow. kiss. And I'm like, and it was you and the guy? because I was funny. I hate your smooth bully <laughs> shit, dude. So it was him, this other kid, Jake, me, and this other kid, Keith. And they were all oh, handsome. And this girl, Irene, Lori, and this girl, Sherry. Sherry always had, like, she was smarter than everybody. Actually, you got to cut that name. So really cut okay. that. All right. But um, <laughs> either way, I just remember I was so amped that I was nervous the next day. Like, I'm going to kiss a girl for, like, the first time. Because like, usually, like, I was always invited to hang out. But if girls were around, they'd be like, mm. heard you're friends with Brent. And then Chris would go, like, no. Wow. Like shit like that. It was bad. So I had this head and little. And uh, <laughs> I was uh, playing baseball the day before. Somehow I wake up for the graduation party. Brand breakfast. And this one eye doesn't open because it's filled with poison ivy. Oh, oh no. So I'm this. <clears throat> no kissing party. Oh, but I'm no. going. You went anyways? Yeah. Did you wear a went? patch? No, I, I just patch, was like, dude. I kept crying. I go, I gotta go. But, but you're, you're not contagious, going. aren't you? Yeah, at but, that age, who gives a shit? But, but <laughs> Is that not how it works? I, I had to go to the park because these are the coolest kids. Right. and Because I'm the funny guy and they liked me, but they were like the kids that were like good looking then. So mm. all the prettiest girls were going from my elementary school and I was invited. So it's basically, it's like four on four. So it's mm. out of the whole school. It's just us. And it's just, that's it. No party, just us. I can't miss the party. Okay. Because I'm going to kiss Sherry, goddammit. Because yeah. I knew the other ones right. were off limits. Way too hot. You know, <laughs> I knew that Sherry was my option. And then they were, like, kissing in front of me and everything. Ooh. And I'm... <laughs> oh, my God. That's hilarious. I can picture it. You just show And then up. she, they go, kiss Brent. Kiss Brent. And I'm like, and she goes, even if his eye wasn't so messed up, no. I would never kiss him. <gasps> And I was like, and then they oh. said, Brent, do the Michael Jackson dance. And you did it immediately, yeah. probably. Yeah. Okay, love me. I think about that all the time. Yeah, I oh, think about I, that I was, all the time. Oh. I had a girl dump me because I was afraid to kiss. Oh, really? Yeah. Jason. I was, I was just didn't think I'd do it right. And she's like, I need to be with a boy that wants to kiss me. <laughs> <laughs> she knew what she wanted. Yeah. She's oh, got yeah. 70 kids now, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you know what? I'm actually going to ask this question. So we did this when we were doing a test. Yeah. When you were a kid, around that, say like sixth grade to eighth grade, mm. who was your celebrity crush? Oh, like a, on the wall, maybe. Oh, I had a lot of boys on my wall. It's but, weird. Mm-hmm. Uh, John Travolta. Oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> All right. Uh, Antonio Sabato Jr., wow. which is now wow. problematic because he's <laughs> very conservative. Uh, he spoke at the Republican National Convention. I don't Ugh. know. Now yeah. I don't love him as much. Uh, <laughs> Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey. Okay. Really? Yeah. Days and Confused. All right, all right, all right. I think it was from A Time to Kill. Oh. Oh, yeah. Well, Good Jesus movie. Jesus Christ, you're way younger Sandra Bullock. Than that. Why would I... Huh? <laughs> Is that Sandra Bullock? Sandra Bullock. Yeah. yeah. And I read then, the book. And uh, you know, um, God, I had all these... I, uh, I, can't, I can't remember. There were a few others. Okay, so you... I liked them dark. 
I liked them. Great face. Gristle. Good face, but I, I, I was like, yeah. Like yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. Now, you. Well, who did you have? Phoebe Cates was. Phoebe Cates. Hey. Yeah. Fast Times for Phoebe Cates. Uh, that was like your number one, right? Mm -hmm. Mine was Jennifer Love Hewitt. Uh-huh. Uh, Rachel Lee Cook, I remember, in Topanga from Boy Meets World. Mm hmm uh, Will. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Yeah. yeah. So we asked Will this question. He says he never had one. No, because I didn't have like the one that I remembered, like the like, oh, who's but, on the poster? Like I just never, I couldn't think uh, of who that was. No, no, no. Don't, don't and, excuse that. There's not see one. See how quickly she was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Anyway, anyway it makes not, sense. Yeah. But it's not an okay thing. There's not one person you looked at. We, we established one. There was a couple. Well, it was like when I got older, like Pam from The Office, I always had a crush on. Like that was always That's one. That's cute. What age? And... Middle, I don't know, middle school maybe? I don't middle know. School I don't know. How maybe fucking young is he? Maybe yeah. high school. No, I don't remember. Like, early, I mean, yeah. But yeah. again, there was definitely ones before that, but I don't remember who they were. Yeah. I really don't. Right. My brother had a poster of Pamela Anderson on his. Wow. Yeah, wow. Like, that's like classic, but I like yeah. never had like. I was never into that. I always looked like the classic kind of. Mm. Oh, man. That cute. Girl. You liked cute. I love cute. I was the same I liked way. to cuddle. Yeah. I was a cuddle guy. So I was always Phoebe like. Phoebe Cates, too, oh. in Fast Times oh, was a super just like confident woman yeah. yeah i bet i bet your wife is a confident one very you confident yeah woman. so oh, you yeah. probably yeah and, I don't know and then said, oh, yeah, Phoebe Cates and, yeah he's, he's got a thing oh, yeah he's got a big thing for you yeah. right oh uh, she's like, great she's amazing <laughs> hey what's she doing <laughs> <That's> <laughs> what he says hey i'm um, uh with elaine taking her to work put me on speaker brent <laughs> hey elaine hi <laughs> hey. loves you too by the way and like, great dance. You guys she, they dance salsa in dc i was like blown away yeah you lead and stuff i'm a lead that's cool. He used to teach salsa. Like a lady. Lady. Are yeah. you serious? Years ago, I did. Yeah. Oh my Watching god! Watching him and his his wife dance, I was like, oh my! I was insane. I, I was love like, salsa dancing. I can't do it, but somebody was like, just find a guy who knows what he's doing. Yeah. And I remember I went to a salsa club once, and I did that. It's a lot of fun. It was fun. Yeah, it's they're they're, they're I, I mean, I haven't gone in a long time. Elaine, my wife kept doing. It. She she still goes once in a while, and then like goes to see the live music and stuff. But I. It, they, it's it's kind of a weird scene. They're real nerd. They're like it's like it's like hang, you know how when you hang around with like Star Wars nerds, you're yeah. like okay, that's enough Star Wars already. It's kind of like that with that scene too. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I I'm sorry. I, I can't wait till this is public because I just can't understand how when you're going through your puberty and everything that there's not somebody that you're like daydreaming about it was more real people it wasn't like the yeah but i had yeah. the real i had the real that's people true. too but, but everybody has their strange thing everybody has their strange thing you for example I, yeah i want to point one out brent how old are you now 33 how many girlfriends have you had two bullshit one i thought it was no, one. oh two girl, yeah but 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 recent. that's because i believed in love and i thought he she never was the had one a girlfriend yeah, but I also was because I was dedicated to my craft. So there's reasons. But it was Probably also because. Reasons. But it was also. He wasn't sure who he was yet. It was yeah. Also because my parents have been together 45, 46 years, and I, I was smart enough to realize I need to get me right before I can be right for someone else. You're right. And I had other insecurities about who I am as a human being. Okay. We're really gonna so get into it. To so you were well 40 those. in your teens. Then I met someone I thought I was gonna be the one, and she left me. You want to hear oh, it? Okay. That's what it got real. But, that's Either got way. real. Bro, I, think, I bet you he did have crushes that just, just they were just minor and he just doesn't remember. All yeah. I'm saying is Burt Reynolds. <laughs> yeah, there's I think that's what it has to be. There's something because you know what? Actually, Hates my little it. brother's gay. Like, and I remember having that conversation with him as a uh -oh. kid. He's a year younger oh, than boy. me. And I said, Who do you like? I was so bad. I had a picture book of Jennifer Love Hewitt. You know? Wow. She's like, a good one. I met her. I just remember thinking, oh, that, like you just daydream like dreams are the greatest thing in the world because mm. they're not real so you can you can treat them as whatever you want yeah. so you can use them as a way as an endorphin of happiness to be like oh yeah she said no to me i couldn't kiss her at the party but one day i'll get somebody like that you know right. like she likes me you yeah, know but you know some if you have a real crush on a real person sometimes they just take up all your bandwidth but yeah. i disagree because i had the same crush to. since uh, Fifth grade until I was a senior, I had the same crush. Can't say her full name. Did mm. you not have the same type of thing? Yeah, same thing. I like yeah. the same girl from like sixth grade to like senior year. I something. had the same. Oh. Yeah. We have a lot of similarities. Did you guys ever yeah. go out? No, I told her the last day of senior year. Yep. I told her that. You got to be a dramatic. I did the same Brent's thing. Got it from here. What did she say? <laughs> <laughs> what um, I did? She said, uh, no, it was like she was dating somebody at the time, and I didn't expect uh, anything of it, but I was like, I'm just going to tell her just so I can say that I did. So I don't yeah. have to be like, what Doesn't I... it feel so much better? Yeah, I did that. I remember this I was actually pussied out, sorry. late in dating. <laughs> I remember I started, uh, if I liked a guy, I just was like, I, I like you. 
you know, I was so oh, much more. That's probably a better way to do it. I wish girls did that when I was a kid. Yeah. Now it doesn't yeah. happen. Yeah, no one does that. Well, it didn't happen when I was a kid. Oh, it took was... a long time. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. There. Yeah, I started getting very like, I like you. What are we doing? You right, know. That's so cool. Well, l- right. now let me cut to like we're working at Conan. Now <clears throat> Conan was nice enough to basically that was kind of the greatest luxury of me building some of the stand-up shit too was him paying for look i'm gonna get us another show and we're all gonna i'll find it yeah and so he you know gave me some money i was able to get unemployment i was able to fucking do stand-up and then he did tbs go back to tbs now I'm working with Steve Hollander, Greg Kassoff, Jackie Stathis, Stathis. I always call her Stathis Stathis because she can't tell me exactly what it is. Love her to death. She wow. actually was the too only much, person. Too much. Um, no one needs but all those are my those are my bosses. <laughs> the one all the, no one needs Sorry. all Sorry. <laughs> Either way. So at that point, for some reason I still had a desk, which was closer to you. Was it right outside? No, no, no. I was with, no, uh, you I was outside Andy me. Richter's yeah, office. Yeah, you would yeah, not be near near me. <laughs> no, I was actually <laughs> banned from those offices. Also, but, uh, you, yeah. go ahead, finish. I, no, I was, no. was going to say just, I want to know exactly like what you do at Conan oh like uh, we haven't said any I would love to just learn just that's as where someone I'm getting in, god okay, damn I it I just sure. brought up Conan <laughs> we're almost at an hour so I just want to make sure like oh I my god already more. shut up yeah, that's all for the oh, love of Christ I'm so sorry Will no it's uh, no so I start working there we're we're, we're now you ruined that's what I'm make, getting we're, to. Uh, outside, you, to you were talking about where your desk was outside of Andy's I was outside yeah, of Andy's thing but I didn't really need a desk it had nothing to do with that but once we got to Conan I felt like we really hit the comfort level mm-hmm. you know what i mean where it was the conan of old like the conan it should have been because the other one was like an evil empire mm. well the Star tonight show is a lot of pressure yeah and it was like 20 suits every time we did a rehearsal it's a lot of office. pressure yeah it is and then like pressure aside it was just not a stage conducing to comedy at all it was like 400 seats way back but when we got the conan it became like fun it was that family environment mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, I would spend a lot of time going up to her, <laughs> her office, and I was put on a, a ban list. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> You were your name. Yeah, it's it's still, there. still on a piece of paper <laughs> yeah. outside of my uh, – we have a space. Uh-huh. There's a thing that says, uh, these people are banned from this space, <laughs> and one of one of them is Brent Moore. Why? I think what there's got only you banned? Three Just people. go in there too I much? Forgot. I forgot. I don't remember. I, I really think we don't were either. just joking around. I know it was fun because we loved having you come visit. Yeah, but uh, no, working at that show, Will and Will's right, and we should ask. So working with Conan. Yes. So now you're with Conan for how long? Oh my God, it's gonna be eleven years in January. Wow. wow. And Conan is, by the way, watching Conan is he's such a comedic genius. Like I always say, Conan taught me the professionalism of comedy, and just watching him as a writer's mind, yeah. just from a distance, just seeing that. But it's also a complex mind. Like, you know, I suffer from clinical depression and anxiety disorder. And some days are better than others for me, personally. Mm-hmm. Now, obviously, I don't know that about him. But I, he's talked about it openly, about depression. Yeah. And sometimes I remember in the beginning, I would see him walk through the halls. And I could see a little bit of gloss, like in the eyes, where I go, uh-huh. oh, he's depressed today. Because I know that, personally. I know what that feels like. And... It's such when you're dealing with somebody like him, who's even more of a like he's I mean, he's a real comedic genius. Mm. It's got to be an interesting thing. And it also takes a lot of trust for somebody like that to like, I don't consider you his assistant. It's like a partnership almost. Well, um, I still do assistant stuff. Yeah. Like I have to take care of his schedule. I have to help him with things, scheduling things, whatever. But, uh, you know, obviously my job's evolved. Yeah. yeah. I'm on the show a lot more than I used to be. Yeah, I've noticed. Uh, I'm on his podcast. And you guys are like, co- are you like co-hosting it with him or the podcast? Or how's I wouldn't that even say co-hosting. Just, I would say I'm featured on it oh, because awesome. he does all the legwork for it. He does okay. all, all the interviews he does. I pretty much, I'm mostly in bookending the interviews. I'm like in the beginning segments and the end segments. She's oh. great in it too. You um, have to uh, listen to it. Yeah. But, but then with Conan, you just sit back and let him do everything. Yeah, he likes to go. He's he, he, We're similar in that way. There's something with your laugh. Like, I'll go off and then you just interject with it. Yeah. I noticed when we were working together. That would be a hmm. big thing. Yeah. Probably pissed him off once if you said I was funnier than him. Oh. But, uh, <laughs> I would never say that to I know, him. and I wouldn't say it. <laughs> But uh, working for him over these years, like, how has it evolved? Like, has it been? Um, you, I think you're right. It's become a lot more of like, um, kind of a partnership. But yeah. I feel like I, I feel like my opinion matters, which is nice. Yes. I feel like I'm valued, which is really nice. 
I noticed that. But uh, yeah, I was just thinking about this on the way over. I was like, uh, I'm really content with my job. And if everything else just went away, I'd still be really happy. That's hmm. why I can't get too attached to all this other stuff that's happening. Yeah. Like I can't, I'll never think that I'm, like I don't have aspirations of becoming on air talent, you know? Yeah. I don't want to become someone, on, I don't want to diet. That's my biggest thing. <laughs> <laughs> so I, uh, I, I got to a point a while ago where I was like, this is good. I'm happy. And if this is all it is, I'm super happy with that. And everything else is That's just kind great. of icing on the cake. Yeah. Oh. And then once, it, you know what, just to call back, you talking about like too scared to to say something to a boy. And now you'd be like, do you like me or you don't? Like, yeah. like figure that shit out. That is just personal confidence. That's growth in you. And that's one thing I always notice sitting at the cue card section with Kent, waiting for Kent. those blue cards from Conan. It didn't matter if it was Gavin Pallone or if it was some other big CEO or for whom, whomever it was, Sona was Sona with every person, and they love her. Oh, like awesome. I always was oh, like, nice. nobody was ever treating her like an assistant because she's not. It was like she's part of the fucking show. You better get to like her and know yeah. her, and I'm going to treat you the same I treat Conan. Where Conan, I'm going to be like, get your pants. Let's fucking go to work. Well, don't cut out. Get the pants on. I don't know why I said I that. What? I don't know. Why what I said, do you, how do you I'm think I'm get dressed. Do the get dressed. Do the shit. With him. I don't know why I said that that <laughs> way. But I always admired that because, like, especially as a PA observing just how everything works, I was always like impressed. Like. Yeah, if Gavin Pallone is one of the biggest managers of all time. So if he walks up like it's Conan in there, I'm like, oh, I think, yeah. you know, and I'd be different with him than I would be with Ashley Olivia or you or something. And I was like, I always admired when somebody could not change mm -hmm. who they are. And this is who I am. I know me so well. This is what it is. Yeah, you know? no, like, that's and, true. And that's kind of, I think that's part of personally from a distance where like Conan's like, oh, she's going to tell me like it is. This is what it's going to be. She also has a sense of humor and smart and gets it because that's so important. Yeah. Like, there's no entitlement with it. There's no stubbornness with it. It's like you'll listen to the fucking craziness that us entertainers are going to throw out because we're out that's of our true. goddamn minds. You were always <laughs> my favorite part of visiting. Yeah. Oh, thank Seriously. you, Jason. And then when you were doing Undateable, you guys were on the same yeah. lot. That was I would so cool. come by and say hi to you. I know. I really yeah. loved that. I yeah. loved when you guys came and visited. I loved it. It was, yeah. fun. It was so was nice to see you guys. I think that um, I think it also comes from not having anything to lose. I mean, <laughs> right? no, I'm, I'm yeah, not even joking. I know. Because if all this blew up and I, you know, now, I mean, back then I could just move in with my parents and it wouldn't be an issue. Like, right, I really yeah. didn't care. But now I'm like, I'm married. He'll just, you know. <laughs> carry me i don't really care <laughs> that's you know? kind of beautiful isn't yeah. it is it yeah. nice you just feel like you don't have anything to lose uh, yeah. so you're like eh, whatever oh, so what is it like now because i've been away from the show it's changed a half hour format yes, you know and so it's lost which much, you love which, which i love i could tell conan loves it more too yeah you know, he's having more fun with it but then also now, because the, this is the way the shit goes. Now it's podcasting, and mm -hmm. so he's doing the podcast. He seems, I listen to every episode, it seems like he's the most fulfilled. I mean, that's kind of more we're, the Conan I know yeah. when we're off camera, which is like, I always tell people, he's so good on camera, and he knows how to dictate a show. He's a puppet master. But when you're off camera, the guy can go on rants sometimes that are like, all right, I, that's genius. Like, right, right. <laughs> no, he, we're, we're way busier now than we were when we had an hour long show. Yeah. Wow. Way, way busier. There's so much more happening. There's so much more that we're doing. Is that plain? Yeah. I told you, it's going to be in a lot of this stuff. I didn't to be know honest, this is like uh, a Rick Rubin album from back in the day where it's just like, <laughs> dude, you got to listen to the vintage episodes when you yeah. heard the planes. No, I, I, I think that uh, I, it's really smart. He's doing, he was when we moved to Conan and you yeah. probably remember this, he did a thing which was really smart, which was he created a whole separate business that was his digital team. Yeah. So they handled social media, they handled the website and everything. And then now that has expanded. I want to say there's like 30 people who work down there. Wow. Now. I know. By the way, I noticed that working there. All of a sudden, Team Coco was just... Yeah. <laughs> seemed like they were like hmm. coming and in made, inventing a new car. Well, and he made jokes about it. He was like, one day they're... You know, because before it was the show was driving digital, but then he's like, at one point, digital is going to be driving the show. Yeah. And it really it is. is changing to be wow. that way. That's and amazing. it was it was really smart of him to have like established that early. Yeah. Um. When you're on the podcast, though, like you've had unbelievable guests, Michelle Obama. Mm -hmm. I mean, and you're sitting there with Michelle Obama, Hillary Clinton. I mean, yeah. I mean, the thing is, what I do love about it is, is I know what it feels like to get a Sona laugh. 
Mm. You know, it always motivated me to get up because I knew I'm on the right track, like laugh wise. And I could tell with Conan that it, like motivates him to go that way. I like that your mic's not turned down when that shit's going on, oh, when, when, no. you know, and you're allowed to ask something or, you know, you're not in the distance. Like you are a part of the podcast, it's not just bookending it and opening it. And so being in that experience, what have you found? Like, this is how we'll close it. it. What do you find on this podcast compared to just the 11 years you've been with them? Like, what is the podcast difference? How do you like that? Well, it is. uh, It it never stops being cool being in a room where Conan is interviewing people like Bob Newhart or or Bill Bill Hader or like Dana Carvey. Bob Newhart killed me, by the way. I listened to that one twice. Or even, you know, like Jeff Goldblum. Like, you. There's a the lot of sexual is, energy. On yeah, that one. <laughs> everybody has, everybody has a specific personality, but their dynamic with different interviewers is is something that's unique. Yeah, and I think that I always knew Conan was a good interviewer, but I never really understood it yeah. until the podcast because yeah. he's not. There's no like people giving time signals. I mean, there mm-hmm. are, but you know, he can speaking of which go through it. I know <laughs> yeah. there never is, you know, any sort of limitations to what he can talk about and right. it's it's really cool and you can see the chemistry he has with a lot of people especially people who he's known forever like yeah. adam, adam sandler or, you know yeah what's just so people know what's the podcast called it's called conan o'brien needs a friend i love it yeah yeah which honestly you do kind of feel in comedy like we were talking about this earlier today like we have friends that are like comedians you know but like I also, you have your original, like your Guys OGs. I grew up with, yeah. yeah, people you grew up with. I have like my friends, like my buddy Matt, I told you Sunday, just watch something. Yeah. And then when you really like sit down a list, like the people that are besides like you and Will's getting there, but you know, like certain people like Dalia, you know, yeah. like there's certain people like, okay, those are, those are friend friends, but like, man, yeah. I have a lot of comedian friends that I don't know if I'm. I don't even know if I have their new number. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, I mean, your dynamic's different with them. Like an yeah. interview you do with them will be totally different than an interview they do with somebody else. Yeah. Just because yeah. you never know what your chemistry is going to be like. Yeah. And it's it's cool to see Conan's chemistry with different people. Yeah. So cool. and you're great on it, too. Like, uh-huh. I, like, honestly, working there, too. Like, she was equally as funny as everybody. It was so I love perfect. It. Thanks, Brent. Working. That was awesome. That's very sweet. That's why I've Aww. written you ma- multiple you. texts about it. I know, I know. It's really sweet. You, it's just, it's perfect. And, and I, I miss having you there. I know. I it gotta, was so I gotta fun. Visit. It was a lot easier when I had a show shooting next door, yeah. too. Well, know? also, when you were a PA on the show, I remember we were doing the monologue meeting. And then in, and then when it was done, I'm like, all right, I got to go flirt with Brent. And then everybody <laughs> would just be like, okay. Like, they, they knew where I was headed. Yeah, Conan I used to push to us together, like, just <laughs> kiss already. That's hilarious. They're like, come on, you two. I Aww. know. <laughs> Brent, yeah. can I say? You fucked up. Oh. <laughs> you fucked I know. Up. Are you kidding me? You see that ring? It's been blinding me the whole damn time. I'm not a man. <laughs> I'm not a man. Wow. I know who I am. Yeah, you are. I'm a boy. You're a man boy. Man boy. I love you. All right. Well, Sona, thank you for coming on. Yes. Hopefully, I love come you back guys. again. I want to hear more. We'll get more into it. I would it. love to pissed. come back. Yeah, I want to hear more about these guests and what it was like behind the scenes. But, yeah. you know, awesome. Got thank an hour. She's got to go babysit her niece. Yes. You. So, Nieces. Gotta do it. Nieces. Tell them all about the lion's den. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank awesome. you, Sona. That was so fun.